Hello friends, my name is Dawn Compton and I am the pastor at Main Street United you know, Methodist Church in Bedford, Virginia. And I am coming to you today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. I want to begin by offering a word from Scripture uh, from 1 Kings, the 19th chapter, beginning with the 8th verse. And this is telling us some of what Elijah is going through and his trying to connect with God. He got up, ate, and drank his fill, and set out. Nourished by that meal, he walked forty days and nights all the way to the mountain of God, to Horeb. When he got there, he crawled into a cave and went to sleep. Then the word of God came to him. So, Elijah, what are you doing here? I have been working my heart out for the God of the angel armies, said Elijah. The people of Israel have abandoned your covenant, destroyed the places of worship, and murdered your prophets. I'm the only one left, and now they're trying to kill me. Then he was told, go, stand on the mountain at attention before God. God will pass by. A hurricane wind ripped through the mountains and shattered the rocks before God. But God wasn't to be found in the wind. After the wind, an earthquake. But God wasn't in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, fire. But God wasn't in the fire. And after the fire, a gentle and quiet whisper. Friends, Elijah was having difficulty connecting with God. Elijah was scared, was worried, all that was going on around him, the destruction of the places of worship, the murder of the other prophets, and he was fearful for his own life, was trying to escape and be isolated and separated from other people. But God wasn't in the midst of all of that destruction. God wasn't in the midst of all of that despair. God wasn't in the wind or the earthquake or the fire. God was that still, quiet voice, that whisper. Maybe this time that we are surrounded by, maybe it seems like chaos, but we're surrounded by this virus and we're afraid, we're scared, we're worried, we're anxious. And we are separated from other people, even if we're not in a mountaintop. So maybe that's what we need to do is what Elijah was doing and wait on that still, quiet voice. Wait on that voice to tell us what is next. We're still in the midst of that worship series, What Next? What Next? I think maybe... Sometimes we need to do that. We just need to, to be quiet, to sit and wait and hear what God's voice is telling us. What is next? And not try and run ahead and keep pushing forward on our own agenda, on our own plans, but try and hear what God is telling us to do. I pray maybe sometime today that you will take that time just to sit be quiet and listen to God. Friends, we are continuing our online worship. Uh, so if you feel like it's safest for you to stay home and stay safe and separated, uh, we are still worshiping online and pray that it will be a blessing to you and it will be a way for you to connect with God in some powerful ways, even though you're connecting with one another virtually. We have also begun our in-person worship services, and if you feel ready to come and participate in person, just want to remind you that you do need to fill out the registration form and the health acknowledgement form. Both of those are on our website. If you have difficulty finding them or uh, accessing them, just call the church office and we'll be happy to help you do that and so that you will be ready to attend in person this Sunday. We ask for all those registrations to be done the Thursday before the Sunday you intend to participate in that worship. 
And I also just wanted to connect and let you know that, that I am on Facebook um, on a regular basis. I try and check in and I, I like to be able to use Facebook to find out what is going on with the members of the congregation and what's happening in their lives so that I can hopefully be in more effective ministry uh, with people. So I appreciate those from Main Street that have already reached out and sent me a friend request. Um, if you've not done that yet, I would welcome that and would love to be able to be your Facebook friend. But also know that I am not going to try and extend that uh, invitation myself. I want it to be something that you are able to initiate when you're ready to be in that kind of relationship with me. So don't be offended if we have a wonderful in-person relationship and I don't send you a Facebook request because I want that to come from you. But if you're ready or are interested in that, I would love to be able to engage with you on Facebook and use that online tool to enhance our ministry together. We are in the process of preparing for a new uh, weekday children's ministry. Uh, parents are so worried about what to do with their children this school year and how that's going to look and how they're going to be able to properly care for their children and keep their children safe and make sure that they have a solid um, educational experience and so we are looking to try and to do an, an after-school program and are working through the details towards that uh, to help the children in the Bedford area uh, so I just ask for you to be in prayer for that ministry as the details are being worked out as we work through the logistics that um, need to be in place for that to actually be able to happen. If you would like to help volunteer behind the scenes in those preparations, or even if volunteering uh, during the week, once we are able to do it and we do come to fruition and we have children coming, uh, then just let me or Beth know and we will be happy to plug you in in that, that new and exciting ministry that we are looking at doing here. Um, Last, I also want to let you know that the conference is working hard and dealing with some race, reconciliation, and justice ministries. There is um, a specific page on the church on the conference website that allows for prayers and concerns and resources regarding race, reconciliation, and justice. Um, I'm going to post a link to that on the the Facebook uh, or on the Wednesday Word message this week and uh, encourage you to check that out if you've not already done that. And if you have concerns or ideas about how Main Street can be involved in some race reconciliation within our community and would like to be a part of that ministry, let me know because I would love to be able to connect with you and for us to uh, partner together to work on some race reconciliation and be a part of that conversation uh, and moving forward, in, at least in this part of our community. I am so grateful for those who have uh, reached out to me with their hashtag Bedford Favorite, and I still have some more people that I'm going to be working to set up uh, visits with. And if you've not reached out to me about that, let me know, and I will definitely work hard to connect with you and share with the community some of the many wonderful things that are part of being here in Bedford. Friends, have a great rest of the week. I am so excited to be a part of the ministry here at Main Street, to get to know each of you uh, in, in some wonderful ways and for us to see what that still quiet voice God has for us in guiding us to be in ministry together. God bless.